Hey everyone, what's up? Hopeless Dragon here with another video. Today I will be doing a deck profile on Budget Cliffort, or as I like to call it, Budget Fort. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but it's just kind of mix up Budget and Cliffort, so yeah, whatever. Um, pretty much just not running anything that's expensive, guys, pretty much. Um, still have some fun plays, you can still pendulum, uh, still use Scout to search for things, um, since Scout's relatively cheap now, so, uh, yeah. Let's get right on into it for Monsters, Triple Clifford Cephalopod. Um, no one ever uses this guy, but, uh, he's just another normal summonable, and, um, if you do tribute for him, well, if he's tributed for a clean monster, then, uh, if you have more, well, if your opponent has more monsters in their graveyard than you do, you gain life points equal to the difference times 300. Then, Triple Shell. Um, I really like Shell. Um, it's double attacker and can pierce if it's tributed. So, that was pretty nice. Pretty decent stats. And then, of course, all the other Cletus monsters effects, which, yeah, everyone probably knows by now. Then, uh, Triple Carrier, just so you can pop monsters. And Triple Helix, so you can pop spells and traps. Then, two Scout, since it's down to two. And, uh, pretty cheap now, so I think it fits in this deck quite well. Two Tramplinks, because it works incredibly well with Scout to pinch them, then return, and then search again. One Towers, because I love Towers, and uh, it's incredibly hard for a lot of decks to get over. Then one Sky Base. Um, this card's pretty bad, but uh, it can be fun to steal your opponent's monsters with it. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's not really worth the three tributes. You much rather should go for towers, but um, I just run sky base because I like it, and uh, this is a budget version, so it doesn't have to be as competitive as the others, but it still can have some good moments. Triple summoner's art, since uh, it's like five or six bucks an hour, they're really not that expensive, and you need to see scout, so yeah. Triple upstart, pretty much the same thing, uh, need to see scout. Triple MST. Just make sure your plays go off and stop the mirror. One sacrifice, it's down to one. Uh, one sword's at dawn. I've tried this at two and I really don't like it at two. It seems clump low for me. Um, one seems to work pretty well for me. Now I'm doing one laser clip. Um, just can give you an additional normal summon and can uh, make sure so your cleaves cannot be, uh, the normal summon can't be negated. So if you get some towers, they can't activate warning or anything. So that would be pretty nice. One book of moon, good against for resetting Jin Lock or BA, so uh, one Dark Hole, which you can use Dark Hole or Regeki, like I said, it's a budget version, so threw this in here, even though Regeki isn't all that expensive, but uh, they did, they are like, like 15, I think, right now, so I guess they're still a little up there, so really, whichever you have. Um, two Mirror Force is there for a little bit of destruction, a little protection, one Skill Drain. That one, so might as well run one. Uh, one reclate, pretty much another skill train. Uh, one ceiling ceremony. Um, I like this card, it's pretty fun. Especially if you're going up against uh, BA or Shadal or something, you can treat one of your monsters, one of your cleaves, get their effect, then banish two cards from your opponent's graveyard. Uh, one climate change, it's just good if your scouts get destroyed, so then you have a little bit of a backup plan to get them back. One bottomless. Pretty great. And one torrential. So that finishes up the main deck. Then on to the extra, which doesn't really matter. It's really whatever you want to play. Um, I'm running mine a M7, Tyrus, Volcosaurus, uh, Dark Rebellion, Karen Gorgon, Ragna, 101, Heartland, Castell, Exiton, Revival. Emerald, Dweller, Cowboy, and Rhapsody. Like I said, the extra deck um, does not matter at all because, like, you really rarely ever go into it. But uh, so it's really just whatever you can have to throw in it. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, there was my updated budget Glyphor deck profile, even though all the other cleaves aren't too terribly overpriced. But uh, this is like probably the most budget friendly, semi competitive version, I guess, I could come up with so uh yeah it's real fun to try and uh i enjoy the pendulums and everything so yeah here it is and i uh, thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys later